This is a tool we call the decision matrix. When we have clients and others faced with multiple choices and decisions, we go through a process that helps them determine the best outcome. For example, when a common problem people have, they have a new person per position and they have several candidates. So this is a good tool, general tool to use to evaluate the candidates against each other. If we are hiring a person, we look at what factors make that hiring decision that are important to us. Uh, we look through things like experience, their uh, skill set that they bring to the job. They might be for a sales position, so we you know, have that sales kind of ability. And then maybe another factor we weigh is the overall personality of the person, you know, how they'll fit into the culture. So what we want to do is want to weight those factors, you know, out of 100, and how important are they? So maybe the experience, maybe they don't need to have a lot, it's a newer position. Look at their skill set, maybe we weigh that as 30 out of 100. The sales process, maybe 25, their sales you know, abilities. And their personality, very good culture fit is important, so we weigh that to a 30. So when you weight those factors, you have to make sure they add up to 100 because that's kind of our measuring stick that we're going to evaluate each person. Now the first candidate, which we want to do, is we want to give them one half of the rating of each one of those factors. So this one would be 7.5, skills would be 15, this would be 12 and a half, and the personality would be 15. So make sure that equals 50, and that's going to be our benchmark that we're going to weigh the other candidates again. I mean, you could have six or seven, but for the demonstration purposes here, we'll just look at two other candidates. So what we want to do is for each candidate, candidate two and three, look at their experience and how they rate against the first candidate. So an example, maybe the first you know, candidate number two scored a little higher. So you'd rank that a 10, just make sure it doesn't exceed the total of the weight factor. And then maybe candidate three was a little better, so we'll score them at a 12. And you'll go through each factor and evaluate the options and the alternatives against your benchmark. So if we go through and maybe we assign is a little better skill set, um, 10, and you know, just you'll fill this out and we'll say, hey, this was a dead even on the sales ability. And then maybe this candidate scored really well on the personality and this one scored really low. So what you'll do is you'll add up the weighting on all the factors and come up with an aggregate score. And if you kind of work the math out, you know, the higher score is going to be the, the better candidate that we have. So this would be the candidate you'd focus on hiring. Uh, one of the bonus things here, too, is when you went through this analysis originally, you might have said, well, I want the candidate to score an 80. So therefore, you know, they're coming up a little short, but they're still the best candidate. But that gives you the opportunity to see where they scored a little low, maybe on these two factors, and you could come up with some actions to kind of bring up their you know, experience. It's going to take some time, but you might want to put them on some exciting projects and really get their feet wet early. And then sales skills, you might want to have some additional training or identify you know, what other items that they you know, could improve on to get their ideal score up to where you want it to be in the first place. So again, when we go through items with multiple um, various scenarios and we want to make a really informed decision, we identify the factors that are important. We assign a weight out of 100 and between these, which ones are more important overall in our assessment. We assign a midpoint, kind of a benchmark, to, to one of the first items. And then we look at and evaluate each option, or in this case, candidate, against the benchmark one. And we come up with our total here to determine which is the best outcome for us to choose. And that's how we do a decision. Matrix.